In this module and course, you'll be exploring the research on PL to identify, analyze, and apply the five key principles of effective PL. You will also be exploring the literature that confirms that just going through the motions or simply applying active learning or constructive methods uh, without an actual investment or commitment to those principles will not enhance student achievement. Before I expand on how this will work in this course, I need to remind you that this is part of a bigger picture or a plan that you have been building. You'll need to go back to your work in previous courses like EDLD 5304, 5313 and look at the notion of engaging the head and the heart to explore ways to engage your colleagues. You'll also need to review the BHAG and the backward design models that you use in EDLD 5313. Throughout this program there have been many discussions about the need for effective PL in order to make your innovation plan work. Now you have the opportunity to create this effective PL. In this course, you will develop a PL plan, a strategy that you will use to help your administration and your colleagues adopt and implement aspects of your innovation plan. More specifically, from the aside module readings, case studies, and weekly discussions, and from your supporting research, you will create three separate but related resources. First, a presentation that will point to and convince your administration and colleagues for the need for the go and show or alternative PL. Number two, a PL planning outline or strategy, a guideline that addresses uh, your plan. And this will focus on how you will foster collaboration, who will lead the components, the audience. It will address things like the BHAG, the three column table, UBD template, your schedule, timeline, and a variety of resources you need to uh, develop. Three is finally building out that PL plan that incorporates those five key principles. And it'll include the go and show uh, presentation, your PL outline, your audience perspective, how you will foster collaboration, effective modeling, how you'll foster self-directed learning, who will lead what sections of your PL, the BHAG, three column table, UBD template, the schedule, the timeline, PL sessions, slide decks, resources, and anything else that you'll need like articles or handouts. In a nutshell, this course will help you promote, plan and create and model effective go and show PL that will enable your colleagues to go and show how to move your ideas from your innovation plan forward and ultimately help create significant learning environments that will use technology to enhance the learning. The COVA model will really come into play in this course. You'll be incorporating many ideas concepts and methods from previous courses so you'll be going back to your ePortfolio on a regular basis. Even though we have five modules in this course, most of the activities will take several weeks to complete and they will span several modules and you'll need to manage this process. While, while we have planned to introduce new ideas and concepts at key times, you'll still need um, to address those issues case by case and work ahead and sometimes hold off uh, incorporating those new ideas until you're ready to incorporate them into your planning process. Please remember that the PL plan and resources that you design and develop are authentic and will be unique to your circumstances. It is our goal to mentor and coach you through this process and model the type of ongoing support that you will have to provide your colleagues as you take them through the PL plan that you have developed while you simultaneously give them control and ownership of the learning process.